What happens when a chairlift ride turns into a nightmare? These clips were shot by skiers using their mobile phones. If you get stuck on a chairlift without cover, it can get quite cold. Try to move around a bit and keep each other warm. The chairs are fixed to the cable with clamps. They can swing around a lot, but they won't fall off. It's important in such situations to wait for the cable car staff and not to take any action of your own. Unfortunately, there are always some passengers who take great risks in trying to free themselves. I can hardly watch this. It's completely senseless. Always wait for the rescue team. Swiss chairlift companies are obliged by law to carry out evacuation exercises every year. Here, in the Meiring and Hasliberg region, a rescue person accesses the passengers via the cable. Another person secures him to the ground. It's important to keep the passengers informed about what's happening. Once we get to the passengers, we ask them to put on special trousers, which are hooked onto a rope. Slowly, we lower the people to the ground. In a real emergency, there would be an extra person helping on steep ground, where it's hard to move with your ski gear on. Evacuations of cable cars are a bit more complex. In this exercise in Grindelwald, the rescuers are attached to a helicopter via a 30-meter rope. They enter the cabin from the top. This is how it works. One of us helps you step out of the cable car. Another person will wait for you outside. Stepping out of a cable car at 60 meters above the ground is not everybody's cup of tea. But no one is spared, not even four-legged passengers. Even though it's just an exercise, I still feel the adrenaline. When I'm sitting in the helicopter, I'm thinking about what will happen. Once we're in action, we just do our jobs the way we were trained to. But after the exercise is over, I do need a long break. 